Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to actually do a free webinar and how to embed a Google Hangout onto your WordPress blog so that you can do that for free. So we're going to start by adding a new page in your dashboard of Google Hangouts. So that's what we're going to do first. Um, so I'm going to call this uh, webinar test page. But you would name it, you know, whatever the name of your webinar is. Um, then we're going to go over to Google Hangouts. And so if you were just logging in, I'm already on here, but you would go to plus.google.com. And if you don't have a Google account, then you'd have to set one up for this. Um, once you're here, you're going to click on Home and this little drop down arrow and click on Hangouts. Try that again. You're going to click on home and then you're going to go down and click on hangouts. It's going to bring you here and you're going to click on hangouts on air. So don't go down there. Just click right here. Hangouts on air. And then you're going to click create a hangout. This yellow bar here. So when you do this, you are creating a webinar for later, for in the future. I mean, you could create it for now, but it's going to take time for you to set it up on your website. So this is something you want to do in advance. So here I'm going to call this webinar. Uh, let's see, I'll call it masterclass test webinar. All right. And then you can say amazing course filled with info you need. <laughs> Whatever you want to say about it, you can put it there. All right, so this is going to start later, not now. You want to put the time frame in here. So we're going to make it for, let's say we're going to do it tomorrow. Okay, no, let's see. Let's do it further out. So next Thursday at 7 p.m. And it's going to last about two hours. And so you, if you think you have two hours worth of content, then give yourself 30 minutes extra just so you have time for Q&A. And so um, people kind of get a gist of how long they're going to be on with you. This is the tricky part. So you want to make sure that you remove this thing here that says public because this is saying if you press share, it's going to advertise it to everybody who is in your net, in your um, Google Plus friends. And it's going to be set as public and it's going to be visible by anyone, anywhere. And you don't want that. So go ahead and click off of that. And then what you're going to do is use an email address that is not your Google account and send it to that address. So basically you're saying I'm inviting, I'm inviting myself to this email address and to this webinar. And I'm the only person that will see this information. And so you click share. It didn't stick. So let's try that again. So I'm, I'm choosing myself. All right, there I am. So I'm choosing myself and I'm going to click share and that's it. And the webinar now is actually set up. So the next thing you're going to do is you are going to go over to, so you want to make sure this is the right date, the right time. So Wednesday, May 18th at 7 is what I sent it for, which obviously doesn't matter because this is just a test. What you want to do is you want to click on this thing here that says links. You see it's grayed out. Click that and then want to highlight this right here, which is the video embed code. And you want to copy that. You're going to take that and go back to that page you created. And... Here it goes. You want to go now. You don't want to go to visual because visual is what we see. Um, and text is actually where you put codes in any kind of HTML or codes. So this is where we're going to paste this right here. And if you go to visual now, you'll be able to see it and see it takes the information from my Google Plus account. So that picture was actually, um, I think, on my YouTube channel. So now that's set up. Now you need a place for people to chat. So if you just set it up like this and you went to see your page, your page right now would just have that, um, 
that webinar set up. So something I would do, hold on, something I would do is get rid of this right here so that there would be no distractions. And also um, be, I have that welcome mat is what it's called, that pop-up. Um, I would turn the pop-up off for this page because you don't want people hitting a pop-up when they come to your webinar. So you wanna make it clean and easy. So let's go ahead and remove that sidebar information. So I'm just gonna make this a full width page. I'm gonna save it as a draft. And then I'm gonna go ahead and preview it. And now it should just be um, the webinar centered on the page. And so here it is. And again, I would remove this, make sure you don't have any pop-ups. Um, but here it is. Ta-da! There goes your webinar. Humongous, right? It's great. So <clears throat> the reason this is small here is because I don't use titles on my pages. So that's the only reason this is really small. On your WordPress site, it would just be whatever settings you have for your titles to be. So um, I could go in here and I could change this font, but that's not really the most important part of this video is... Um, you know, I want you guys to know how to actually set this up. So the second thing you need, like I said before, is a chat feature because right now you have a webinar, but if people want to chat, there's no place for them to do that. So close out of this. You can use two things. You can either use chat wing or chat roll. I like chat wing. Um, and I think this is like $10 a month and then chat roll is free. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to create a chat box. And both of them are ex almost exactly the same. You create a text bo a chat box. You can go here and you can customize the colors and make it match your brand. And that's it. Save it. I don't update or fix anything else that's in here. Then what you want to do is go to use chat box. And when you go to use chat box, you're going to see over here where it says embed options. That's what you want to click on. So go to embed options. And then you want to scroll down to where it says um, iframe. And that's what you want to copy and put on your website. So you want to copy this whole thing here. And you don't want to copy where it says begin chat wing chat box. You want to go from iframe to iframe. See where it says iframe source and then iframe. That's where you want to end it. So you want to copy that. And you want to go back to that page you were on and make sure you're in the text area. And then right underneath here, just press enter. Give yourself some space and paste that in there. And voila, this is what you will have. So I don't like that this is over here on the side. Oops, I don't like that this is here on the side. So what I would do is I would center it. So once you have it highlighted, just center. Um, and the other thing you can do if you go to text, and this is if you really feel savvy, is you can change this width and height here to make it match the width and height of your video um, that's above it so I'm gonna make this match that which is 560 and then um, I'm not actually gonna change the height I think the height is fine so let's save this and now we can preview it And so this is the page that you will have your webinar on. So now you have your webinar will be live here. I mean, obviously nothing's going to happen right now because it's nothing there. So if people click, it's just going to say watch the live stream in seven days or however many days it is till you actually broadcast. But people, you would give people the, the URL for this page. So um, that they can come and find your website. So if the URL for this page is sandragwines.com forward slash webinar, 
that's where people are going to come to. I will be on Google Hangouts, but they will be in here actually watching from my page, watching from my website. So that is how to embed the actual webinar on here. I'm going to make another video showing you guys how to actually run the webinar from Google Hangouts, but I wanted you guys to learn at least the very basics of how to set it up. So I hope this was helpful. And if you want more information, make sure to check my website, sandragwines.com. And please make sure to leave me any comments, questions, or suggestions. Thanks.